when your communication is confusing or artificial. Customers don't care, sales don't close, and presentations bore people to sleep. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm Francisco Mafus, keynote speaker on storytelling, and I'd like you to imagine something better. Imagine if you could make your message rise above the noise, capture people's attention, and never be forgotten. It would be like having a superpower. But you don't have to imagine. All you have to do is remember. Stories are your superpower. They've been with us since the beginning and they're still the most powerful tool to connect, engage, and move people to action. Stories can make you laugh. I make mistakes too. I got married at 23. I got divorced at 24. I never wanted children, and now I have two. Or they can take you somewhere unexpected. Now, the real dangers are credit card fraud, Identity theft, Black Friday. They will work in a dark church where people can barely see you. That picnic tells you everything you need to know about being married. <laughs> or with a projector shining on your face. When your clients are sharing the stories you told them, that's when you know you're doing this job. And stories will even work through a screen when you're locked down at home. Science has been able to take brain scans of a storyteller and a listener. The brain patterns, which are very different to begin with, get closer and closer throughout the story. With a good story, they become like one. And that is why stories are the shortest path for both emotion and information to be transmitted and remembered. Maybe you know all of that already, but you just don't tell more stories because you don't know how to do it properly. But most companies simply do not tap into the power of stories. They don't use it in their marketing, their sales teams don't tell them, and leadership does not use it to get everyone on the same mission. That's where I come in. I'll help you find, craft and deliver stories that people actually care about. So our job is to tell them better stories of the people just like them that were helped over the years, of all the obstacles to overcome together, of the bright future they can provide their families. When we invite them into those stories, they don't have to complain about how much things cost. They're not going to worry when results are not exactly what they expected. And they'll tell everyone about you. When your clients are sharing the stories you told them, that's when you know you're doing this job. If you want to engage, sell, or inspire, it's about time you find your story powers.